surrounding the gem will be the skeleton of the body. And for us, the gold you'll see on that bottle for me, uh, Goldea, the Goldea Golden Light. That's it. It, it, it holds and, and, and pulls the fragrance together. So, so everything reflects back from one like, to another. So talking about famous uh, Let's talk about probably the most famous one is Elizabeth Taylor. Right, well, during Tiff Week we have to talk about celebrity, right, here in Toronto. So yes, Elizabeth Taylor is known for her love of Bulgari jewellery. Um, it was told that the only Italian she actually could speak was Bulgari. <laughs> um, and she did very well from Richard Burton with her Bulgari jewellery. And you know, it's a true story that in order for directors to get her on set, to show up on time, because she's notoriously late. I don't know if you ever saw her appearances. Remember, she was here actually in the Bay 25 years ago, and she was an hour late, and she said you know, that was expected of her. But if a film director wanted her to arrive on time, he or she had to have a piece of bouldering, a gift waiting for her. On, her, on the set, and she would actually show up on time, and she would shrink quickly, and she would open up the box, and she was there every single It actually was true, she actually did do well, that. a great, wonderful fragrance to wear. It was a real trend, and I think it actually smells very, very sexy. Many of you that have tried the, the wood essence have said, I would wear this myself. So it's definitely that, that is a component to the fragrance that I don't know if that was intentional, but we can see this from the group of ladies here tonight that that definitely has been feel. But the inspiration for the Bulgarian Man with Essence fragrance came um, from the need to disconnect to reconnect. So we're saying that we live, actually 54% of the world's population live in an urban environment and have a desire to disconnect from that environment. And we see it in the, the amount of greenery that is, um, is, is in our urban cities, that we're looking for uh, vertical gardens everywhere. Everybody is looking to put beautiful plants in their balconies, their work environments. People want to be surrounded by the woods, the earth, nature, and greenery. It makes us feel good. So that was the inspiration for a blend of cedarwood and ambergris. So it's very earthy and woodsy. It's um, kind of creamy as well. It has benzoin from cyan. And benzoin smells almost like root beer. So it has like that creamy warmth to it. Again, coming back to how we were talking about the sweetness of vanilla, which we're enjoying with our dessert. Um, they're all notes that resonate with both men and women. So, and Alberto Morales, who created it, probably is the number one perfumer in the world right now. Like, if you look, he's at the top Absolutely. of the game, so... He used to be the queen of the night. It, it, the inspiration really was Bella. It, it takes her North American spirit and it marries it together with the uh, extravagance and beauty and seduction that is a Roman night. And so the fragrance itself is very sensual, it's warm, it's rich. I'm sure you've all had a chance to experience it here. If you haven't, please do when we're finished. Um, the top note of the fragrance is the plum that you see on the table in front of you. So it has the plum blended with orange blossom petals. And the orange blossom petals give a beautiful, warm, almost honey note to the fragrance. So again, that creamy softness. And then the heart of the fragrance comes with the Madagascan vanilla, which you are enjoying like the dessert. <laughs> um, but the vanilla is um, it's something that is just addictive. And we know that when we're making fragrances, both men... How long does it typically last? Well, we say a fragrance has a shelf life of three years. I myself know I have fragrances that are older than three years and they still smell fine. But I do take really good care of my fragrance. Fragrance does fine on the dresser. It doesn't get direct sunlight. So if your dresser does get direct sunlight, then that's not the place to keep it. I hear of people that keep them in a cupboard. I think that's such a shame. No. Because the bottles are just, especially with Bulgari, it's just this jewelry. Yes. Like, why would you want to put that in the cupboard? So just be careful where you place it in the bedroom. But it, it's a good three years. They're, they're all sealed. It's, it's not like the old days with the dropper and contamination. And, it's good. Our fragrance has to reflect that too. And it is known that fragrance reacts differently in different temperatures. So a fragrance that develops to warm up. So you need something that's a little warmer like this to start with because you're going to get more benefit from the fragrance. 
and it, it should match your clothing. And, and we want to encourage everyone to have a wardrobe of fragrance, not just that one state of fragrance, because it's like wearing one outfit every day. You know, you've got to have different fragrance for every different mood and occasion. Fantastic. A big round of applause for Melody Captain. Thank you, Melody. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you again to Jen, Nicholas, Carlos, Degas, and for seeing you on being here. And enjoy your dessert.